they do put that in a lot of vitamin and uh, because I, so I think probably, you didn't actually say whether that was the case, but I do think that probably was the case. So um, I was pretty demoralised, there's no alternatives, two months to live, I've got cancer. <laughs> and um, when this friend talked about GC map, I looked it up on the internet, and it seemed incredibly hopeful. Um, here was, a, here was a, something that was going to boost your immune system, here we, instead of destroy it. Um, here was something that um, was going to um, put your leader, of your, the director of your immune system, back in your body, um, which was your GC man, which had been destroyed by the cancer. And they were going to wake up all the troops that should have been, that were fast asleep, that should have been protecting me from the cancer, was going to wake them up and uh, activate my macrophages. So, um, and after eight weeks of this treatment, it was only eight weeks, um, the, the tests on my liver, um, which had shown before, that the markers that had shown that I had pretty serious abnormality in my liver, it came down um, from 106 down to 32 in just eight weeks. So that was pretty amazing, that result. And also, um, the, um, when, I, when, I, when I spoke to the doctors about this, um, the, 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 I've lost my mind. Um, yes, the, the, the blood, this blood protein that brought the markers down. Um, Basically, the most side effects to this treatment. Now, what really worried me was that I had been prescribed palliative chemo. Now, palliative chemo to me was no point taking. Palliative meant this, this treatment was not going to work. So, um, I couldn't understand why I had been diagnosed and prescribed palliative chemo when they know that when the cancer is metastasized, it really um, has no effect on metastasized cancer and chemo. So um, I was pretty surprised that I'd been prescribed to um, palliative chemo. Um, it also seemed to me that, that chemo, the side effects of chemo, are pretty barbaric and medieval in this day and age. Um, it would mean vomiting and losing my hair. It's very important with your quality of life with cancer. I think it's very important to keep yourself upbeat, to stop yourself um, um, basically becoming stressed, which also um, is very, very bad for you with, with cancer. So, um, so I'm not taking that. <laughs> I think I'm going to answer. Just go straight to the results. Right, well, a whole year later, the results show that the tumour, which was 4.10 centimetres, has all, all but disappeared. Um, this is absolutely remarkable. I mean, the, the, the oncologist was amazed. Um, there's a little bit left on the liver, which is um, scar tissue, um, which, as I think they said before, was basically, it's not activating, it's not spreading anywhere. And um, I am basically living proof that GC map works, um, and I'm very, very grateful um, for my treatment. Absolutely full of sugar, 
and I couldn't understand why um, they'd given her that. Um, I did advise her not to take me, but she just said, well, I've been prescribed that, and just like that, I believe that the doctors that's what they're doing. I don't understand why doctors aren't more important.